hey guys i hope you guys are doing great so today we are going to see how we can use the iterative imputer of sklearn on our data set so that we can handle the missing values of numerical variables so one thing to note is that the iterative imputer we can apply only on the numerical data and not on the categorical data so we will impute using iterative imputer for numerical data and for the categorical data we'll be using simple imputer so let's begin so i have a data set titanic data set which i have already downloaded and i see there are some factual information like passenger id name ticket cabin which are not so important for us as of now because these are not going to be passed in the machine learning model so I am going to drop these columns from the data set and I will check how many missing values and what are the columns which are having those missing values. So by looking at the info, I see the age, the fare column is having missing values and these both are numerical data. Whereas we can see that all the other data the categorical columns are not having any missing values but still for the sake of understanding how simple imputer or works we will be applying it and see how it is being utilized so before we begin to execute it we need to first understand how uh, this iterative imputer works behind the scene so first of all say for example in the age column if there is any missing value so what iterative imputer will do it will run a kind of a machine learning supervised regressor algorithm and it will keep this as a constant or this age column as the target column label column and rest all the other columns other numerical columns that we are passing in the fit will assume it first as independent columns independent features and then it will do the prediction based on that like train and test that we have in machine learning and then it will pass on to the other column which is again a numerical column and it is also having some missing values and it will do the prediction based on the same algorithm and similarly it will iterate through all other columns and it will iterate through all the same process again and again up to a certain number of maximum iters that we mentioned so to get the optimum regressor results to impute those missing values so now let us begin to implement the iterative imputer for missing values so first of all we will segregate the categorical columns with the numerical columns and I make a list of all the categorical columns like p-class, sex, fair, embarked and then we will also have a list of numerical columns like age, SIB, SP, parch, fair. So then I will just slice my data frame and I'll make two separate data frames TF cat for categorical columns, TF num for numerical columns. So let us just execute it and then I will import these two important packages sklearn experimental import enable iterative imputer and then sklearn impute import iterative imputer and then I will call this class iterative imputer and inside the parenthesis I will pass these two arguments one is max iter the one that I was talking about that the whole process of iterating the complete cycle with all the columns one at a time is one iteration so I will have such 10 iteration to find the best possible within this 10 iteration imputation values for missing values in the columns and then I will 
keep the random state as zero you can give any valid number to it and then I will after calling this iterative imputer I'll fit it with the existing numerical data and then let's execute this so I get this kind of a sign that it got successfully executed this class has been instantiated this contains the metadata and now it is ready to be transformed onto the data which we want to apply this imputation so I'll apply on the same data df underscore num you can also use alternatively a fit transform method but uh, I recommend always to have fit separately done uh, with the transform because in when you are productionalizing or you are doing uh, batch inferencing at that time you need uh, a vectorized metadata so that way it is always better to have it separately okay so I apply imp dot transform on the same data numerical data and then I'm going to put this particular uh, imputed uh, values data into the data frame I'll create the data frame again with the columns numerical columns why am I doing this creating another data frame because this gives me a numpy array this is a 2d numpy array so I don't want a numpy array so I'm that's why I'm creating a data frame with the same respective columns and then I'll execute it and let's check and I get the data frame the way I want it and then I have filled all the numerical uh, variables I have filled the NA values in it with the, uh, the iterative imputer so we will not have any other NA values in it if you want to check you can easily check it using info and we see the data is all complete and then I will uh, call the numpy library with np and then I'll also use the simple imputer to impute for missing values in the categorical column so here I am uh, using sklearn impute and I'm importing simple imputer and then I'm calling this class simple imputer in the argument I'm giving wherever you find uh, missing values as np nn or alternatively yeah, you can uh, mention any n values if whatever in for shape and format you have in the data frame and then you can mention the strategy as most frequent because in categorical you need to mention with uh, most frequent and there are other strategies as well you can check the documentation I'll paste the link in the description and uh, then I will like after executing it I will fit this with the data and once it's instantiated I will just call this particular imputation vectorizer and then I will transform it on the existing data and I'll similarly create a data frame because again this is going to give me a numpy array so I don't want that and yeah I'll simply execute it and this way I get imputed value with strategy as most frequent to the categorical columns although presently we don't have any missing values but just for a uh, kind of a sake of having the simple imputer as well in this uh, video to have a follow along so I mentioned it so this was all in this video so I hope uh, you like the video and I will imp uh, upload more such videos uh, regarding imputation so please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the like button I'll see you in the next video until then bye